greetings to your community church and everyone who is watching right now um it is tuesday that day of our bible study so today we are going to continue about uh, our message in the book of first thessalonians uh, chapter 1 verse 4 and verse 5 Summarizing uh, the message from last week and week before last, we already spoke about two essential basics. Remember our theme is essential basics uh, to know about salvation. So these are obvious uh, these are obvious things to know and they are important. Every believer must know these uh, basics. Number one, God is the one uh, who chooses those who are to be saved. We don't just decide to be saved. So number one, Revelation is God who chooses those he saves. Mutom mulo mwa polo shwa nkan neti. Oba khetile ke mudimu fa polo shwa. And then we have given many scriptures uh, to support this point. And then number two, which was, uh, which is the point that we uh, we, we spoke about uh, last week on, on Wednesday. Uh, it's God's power that saves. Um, our deception because there are people who deceive people they will give them promises that are not there uh, so that people will feel if I don't take this Jesus because they will promise them many things uh, if you take this Jesus he will make you rich. So they come uh, uh, to Christ because of those things. Praying after the pastor, thinking, worry, if I prayed after the, uh, the pastor, this Jesus Christ, so they think, uh, so, Baruti Baba Mobare Rawore for one to be saved, because of your works, you decide your salvation. the example of Apostle Paul on his way to Damascus to arrest the church. And what happened? Because God chose him for salvation and God made appointment at that point, at that uh, 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 place where he was when he encountered um, his conversation with Jesus Christ or that situation where Jesus uh, strike him with the lightning and speak to him, asking him, why are you persecuting me? Saving him there. Paul did not have the intentions to be saved, but God decided to save him that day, that time, at that place. Why? Because God chose him before the foundation of the world. And then again, the illustration last week uh, about uh, the power of God showing what uh, and the the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit And because we just preach. And then the Holy Spirit so today we will chapter this matter mudimu ke na the holy spirit last week we were able like a 
the scriptures re bontsha di scriptures tse di bollang ka matlamo dimo gore kwa na apolotsang and matlamo dimo apolotsa joang matlamo dimo rena re arera while we are preaching or after we re re rile matlamo dimo kona a dirang gore e motho a le mo gore ke mo dira dibe gore kona a tshentsang motho from being a sinner uh, from a sinful nature to be in the nature of Jesus Christ motho e leng gore o be a gana le ntjula modimo a bona le ntjula modimo ile botlaela a bona go pholoswa ile botlaela a bona go seba modimo ile botlaela matla modimo a change that nature a modire someone who accept the word of god someone who lives for god someone who 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 loves and living according to the word of god ke matla modimo a fetola motho eh I'm with you from um, from the dominion of darkness. A sinner is dominated by darkness, by evil. So, madam, we do. I'm with you from that situation. I, I'm with rescue from that dominion of darkness. I'm with you to the kingdom of Jesus Christ, where Jesus Christ is a king in the body of Christ where Jesus Christ is a king where Jesus Christ rules so ke ka mogo matlamodimo matlamodimo no bolla the ability the ability eh uh, or god's ability to change a sinner from his sinful nature to make him holy or to be like Jesus Christ that's how matlamodimo the ability of God and it's only God who can do that. These are the basics. I mean, every Christian is to know these things. They are the basics of salvation. You should know these things. No worry. You did not uh, 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 decide to be saved. You did not uh, save yourself. It is not by your good doings that you are saved god chose you for salvation the bible says that he chose us before the foundation of this earth ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 and then number 2 it is the power of god that saves gare pholoshwe ka rena decide dilo pholoshwa ke matla modimo a o apholoshwa ba modimo a ba gethileng and then basic number 3 it's the holy spirit that saves Today we are going to prove from uh, the word of God. Hore, moya omuketwa ke na wa pulusha. Here matamu di murwa la kama omuketwa ke tawe ke wancha hore ke moya omuketwa wa pulusha. Ha, watu wa pulushi ke midi rea bo na chona le mo farasi yuo la rubole chinga ena abo la hore morena ke abo le bo ha ke pulushi joka la ba kala hore na ke thaisa araro kaweke. Or ke fastara roka weke e ke athaetsa go fa 10% ten tong le nngwe yeo ke kereang i mean those things as tsona tjo di re fa mpholosho re pholoswa because modimo o re ghetile re pholoswa eh ke matla modimo ge modimo a re ghetile ene modimo a di say tor today ke tlo sa ibara moroka you will just see yourself responding to the gospel re bontshi tsa ka Lydia in the book of Acts chapter 16 that woman Paul was preaching and then she responded to the gospel she accepted uh, the word of God why because God worked in that person in that inside of Lydia while Paul was preaching and then Lydia responded to the gospel Okay, Arbaling scripture sare na so serfang the basics in the book of Thessalonica. Um, we are just going to read verse four and verse five. Verse four he says, Knowing brethren, remo first Thessalonians chapter one, verse four and verse five. Knowing brethren be, uh, beloved by God, his choice of you. For our gospel did not come to you in word only but also in power kertisha bangedi molena go lesha lele pholoswa ga ya ka fela ka taba ya 
thero ka molomo le matla modimo a be a tsama ya le yona gospel yeo and in the holy spirit moya o mogethwa le yena be a le gona mo gare ga evangeli yeo a pholosha le yena ba gethwa ba thesolo na eka gore is because of matla modimo is because of the holy spirit and it's because modimo le gethile and with full conviction mm. Yeke point yeke tang. The last point hearing it is uh, those who are chosen, those who are saved by the power of God, those who are saved by the Holy Spirit. God, I mean, they, they, they become fully convicted of the word of God. They become completely convicted of the word of God. You don't need or over deceiving for them to believe for them to say yes to the word of god they are convicted of every word that comes from the mouth of god it is to be obeyed they can never argue with the word of god as long as it is interpreted correctly yes these are those who are convicted so today it's the holy spirit who saves Let's get into our message. Let's get into our first scripture. But before we, we go there, let's ask God to lead this Bible study in prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, when I look at when this Bible study is a good thing. It 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 is a a simple so that everyone can understand make this uh, message to you know to be understandable to everyone father let this message let them understand let them be convicted uh, that your word is true save those you have chosen save those you need to save my lord we thank you in jesus name Amen. Our point for today, ke, it is the Holy Spirit that saves. So our goal here is first to prove, it's just to prove, let's go to our first scripture, which is Second Thessalonica, the cross-reference. The mudimu. Second Thessalonica chapter 2, verse 13. Verse 13, but we ought always to give thanks to God for you, brothers, beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits to be saved through sanctification by the Holy Spirit and believe in the truth. Let me read again. Let me read this again. But we ought always to give thanks to God for you, Paul, over like the church of Thessalonica. Re, re, eh, are for you, brothers, be, uh, beloved by God, because God chose you. Uh, uh, basic, important, uh, basic, important, 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 and then Rachel Pillari, Ole Hetile or Lebe, or Polusha Pele Motas Laika, 
to be saved in other words o le khetle gore le be ba pele ba o pholoswa motheselo na yeka ke modimo a wa dirletseng a re through scientific scientification scientification simply means eh 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 to put aside or uh, yes to put aside so in other words god as took them uh, out of the sinners ba ka motheselo na yeka hore batho ba thosela na yeka ba o ba sa tsebe modimo modimo wa ba tshea a ba bea ka mogare ga mmele wa Kriste he set them aside for his work he set them aside for salvation a ba ntsha ka mogare ba dira ba dira di botho ba thosela na yeka a ba bea ka mogare ga mmele wa Jesu Kriste this is what sanctification mean to set or to put aside And how did he do that? He says by the Holy Spirit. In other words, it is God the Holy Spirit who saved people because sanctification he sanctified them by the Holy Spirit. Ka go ba phulusha ka moya o mogetwa, moya o mogetwa eh ba modimo ba gethileng God the Holy Spirit over punishing in that way he was sanctifying them for the work of God and then ga tshola pela ring and ke mo kaena and believe in the truth in other words the holy spirit he's the one who convicted them he's the one who convinced them who convinced them ke yena wa be rekileng ka bona ka mogare a ba phulusha and then that's how they were sanctified and then they believed the word of god they believed the word of god because the holy spirit made them to believe the word of god he convinced them that whatever was being preached is truth and then they believed it because the holy spirit o be setja fedi tse ka bona ka magare be setja ba phulushitswe a setja ba tlatswitse a setja ba circumcise tse mo dipelong and then they responded to the gospel because already the holy spirit o be a fedi tse ka bona let's go to the book of john chapter 16 rebala verse 6 and verse 8 Or before we go there let's go to the book of Titus. Bona ka mogo moya eh moya o mogetho a phološwa nka gona the book of Titus chapter 3 verse 4 to verse 7. Kanis chikile go hi borosela. Okay Titus chapter 2 chapter 3 Arabalem verse 4 to verse 7 verse 4 yabala but when the goodness and the loving kindness of god our savior appeared he saved us mm ke greke ye be ile dile ye tile pele ke moruti titus so paul wa moja or obola le Uh, this church through uh, titus gore modimo kana kwa ga ya maleba kana kwe at least ten rato la gae le go loka gae eh o re pholoshitse are not because of works done by us in righteousness e seng ka midiro re na me botse ye o re dirileng gore re gatle modimo ga ona mo diro ru dirileng gore re gatle modimo nne are bad contrast according to his own mercy ke mo ga wa gae something we do not deserve are by the washing of regeneration ka gore tlhatswa ale ko tabele na bana ka gore tlhatswa are tswala siswa and then ga tswala pele are and renewal of the holy spirit le gore mphiafatsa ka moya o mogethwa moya o mogethwa ke ena re mphiafatsang remember motho tswetswe e le modiradibe 
ka sebisela se tjereng ko Adam le Eva li di bitse hore di dirileng ge ntjere go la but the main one ke sa ko Adam le Eva and then the renewal the regeneration mo ya o mo ghetwa ga re pholosha o re tlhatswa mo di bintjela tja rena a re ntsha sitshila sa sebe a re dira ba baswa and then mo ra o re mo ya o mo ghetwa re tlhatswe we are those who are regenerated we have been washed by the blood of jesus christ re tlhatswa ke mo ya o mo ghetwa ene Raba baba swa modimo ga re lebella ga bone batho bale ba o parela ke sebe batho bale ba tshwanelang ke lehu batho bale ba tshwanelang ke go ya heleng go punishiwa ba tshwanelang ke the wrath of god because of the sin of adam or the nature the nature of sin yo re tswetsweng ka yona le dibitse hore di rileng no moya o moghetwa ga sna a re mphefatsa re ba ba o ba tshwana le jesus christ because re a patient le tago la jesus christ modimo ga re lebella o bona jesus christ mo go di mo ga rena because moya o moghetwa o re tlhatsutse ka madi a jesus christ ra tshwana le jesus christ ra ba ba o di bitsa bona di phumutsweng ba o ba sanang dikoloto ba o ele go ba bantswa mo pela se fa tlosa modimo ga re lebella o bona bana ba gae ga sa bona manaba because before polosho re be re le manaba modimo because we were against everything that could says in the bible and then he mo ya o mo ghetwa sna re mphiafatsa a sna re tlhatswa ka madi a jeso re ba ba o e ba mpia fa ditsweng re ba 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 swa mo pela a a se ba tlosa modimo ga re sa le ba o ba gomaretseng ke sebe sela sa Adam le Eva di bitsa rena di a phumulwa ene ge di bidi phumutswe re ba 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 o ba mpia fa ditsweng mo pela a se ba tlosa modimo ke mo ya o mo ghetwa yo a phologang this is the point I am uh, proving to you right now through the word of God. I'm showing you or it's the Holy Spirit. Let's go to the book of um, John chapter 16 verse 6. And verse 8. This is that point where it's the Holy Spirit who saves. And hey, Lori, O Poloswa, come on, no, Lintula Mudimulere, Repoloswa Gaona. Let that go next week. Where that person is convicted of the word of God. John chapter 16. Rebale verse 6 and verse 8 to verse 8. But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. Ke Jesu Kristo o bolla le barutwana ba gae. O ba botsa gore ke tlo tsa mahaya. Ke tlo bolawa. Ke tlo tsoa ga tla boraro. And then morawo o tsoa I'm going to ascend to heaven. And then ge ke sna ke le tlogela gore ke tsa mahaya ke ya le go di mong. Nga se le tlogela le te ke tlo le romela molwedi. Ke tlo le romela mothushi the helper. And who is this helper? Is the Holy Spirit, and when this helper comes, this this are what he's he's going to do. Let the one are king. Show the Holy Spirit. I am going to do. Verse six to verse eight. I read chapter verse seven. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. Who is the helper? The Holy Spirit. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict 
the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Our point is about sin. What is the Holy Spirit going to do when he comes? The Bible says he will convict. What is to convict? He will convince us because, yes, he will convince, uh, convince us uh, about sin. Because, so the Holy Spirit, he will make us believe when we are sinners and we are short of the glory of God. Let me give you an example. Last week, uh, the book of Luke, remember uh, the text collector who was praying in the, in the temple in uh, the book of Luke chapter 18. What is his prayer? God, me, a sinner, please be merciful to me. This man is convinced that he is a sinner and he is short or he, he, he falls short of the glory of God. Why? Because the Holy Spirit has convinced him or he is a sinner. And he need God for salvation. Motoelo were ha convinced to Renagi Mudiradivi. Agastura Nagile Mudimu for Polos. Or Agastura du Major and Ronak Utoka Mudimu for Polos. But Wailo were Moyamu Hatomu de Rila or Ahona Wana were he or she is a sinner. Utlohana who responded to the gospel because Wa Lamora were Kimudiradibu Pelagos Neja Mudimu, Utoka Mudimu for Polos. So we need the Holy Spirit to convince us that we are sinners and we fall short of the glory of God. Without you believing that you are a sinner, you are a sinner. You are a sinner. You are a sinner. You are a sinner. You are to the gospel is because you realize that you are a sinner. Unyaka u ripenda, unyaka u sokoloha, mumidi ronga hai, ya dibe, moko pele nkasibe, adire tato ya mudimu, apilele mudimu, ewele khoba la mudimu, akire tokoloho, moko mudimu, ashumele mudimu, machachi ya gaye, agopela, mule fasi. Kutoka gala moya umukhe, tuwa gori, I convinced this person, Hore, you are a sinner. I mean, who toma will lemo rumu di radiwe, it is a purpose yaha mulefas and worry. God brought you in this earth to obey him, to live for him. You are his. He owns you. You must live for him. So, come hope and na currently. How pele ka mogo modimo a nyaka ngo pele ka ona how pele pepo se modimo a o tsiritseng yona mo le mo le fasting because god brought us in this earth for us to glorify him the reason we are here is that we may glorify him and then ge re pele ka magara ga sebi we are not glorifying him that is why bible le re mana ba hai but once we start realizing that we are sinners we will repent and we will start living uh, according to the purpose of God, which is we live uh, living by glorifying him. So first we need to realize that we are sinners. Like this uh, text collector, ke moya o mogethwa o dirang gore re gone go lemoga re ba dira dibe re gone o sokologa re gone o phela ka mogomo di mana ka nkaona ke yena wa re sokollang ke yena wa re lemoshang ke yena wa re sokollang ke yena wa dirang gore re phela ka mogomo di mana ka gore re phela ka gona ke moya o mogethwa wa apolosha ke na gana i have convinced you enough through scripture and then ge mo mo gatwa sna a o dira a o phologa ga o tlogele fela 
o thoma o phela ka mogare ga 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 that is why first corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 ere we are the temples of the holy spirit paul overlaid the church of corinth the believers of corinth ore go polang me di rolo e dirang ga se ka mogole tswantse le phela ka ona because le na le temple ya moya o mogetwa remember ye be le kreke ngwe le ngore be tletse ka tlaka tlakano and paul o be a gala morao wa gore o mongwe ka mogare ga kereke a ngwale le ngwalo a botjise ka mathatabe a le ka mogare ga Corinth ka gore ka mogare ga kereke e ya Corinth and then Paulo ga ga ba adressa o ba fa le polelo o ba fa polelo ya gore le di tempele tsa mayo mo ghetwa in other words if someone is a temple era gore if on Paul says someone is a temple of the holy spirit eh he 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 means the holy spirit lives in them o bolla gore ga letsebe gore moya o mogetse wa phela ka mogare ga lena na na mile moya o mogetse wa ga sna o pholoswa ga a tswe ga o tlogela o nna ka mogare a gao and then ga ntshi ka mogare a gao o thoma go thusha eh ge o bala lentšu la modimo he guides you through eh the holy spirit i mean through he guides you to understand eh the word of god because lentšu la modimo be be le bolla gore lentšu la modimo dilo tsa modimo cannot be understood by a natural person or a person well or ga na modimo re ga pholoswa because they are uh, spiritually uh, understood you need to understand them being helped by the uh, the holy spirit if the holy spirit is not there i mean how will you understand because the flesh cannot understand the word of god you need the spirit of god in order for you to understand the ways of god the things of god the word of god to understand for things of god to make sense to you you need the holy spirit to help you with that john chapter 16 verse 13 are he guides us to the truth he helps us to descend so ile go nnete le se o ile go maka ge di phiri di rera ba interpret a scripture out of context the holy spirit helps you to understand the gore those people are just misquoting the scripture they are just misinterpreting the scripture ho sna mo yo mogetwa o tlono ke tima le bona batho bana bo ba shala morao because ga ona eh molwedi ga ona mothushi ka mogare a gao ga ona moya o moghetwa wa o thushang gore o gone o disena between nnete le maka you need the holy spirit to help you to understand the word of god you need the holy spirit to help you ga o tlogele ga sna o pholoswa o dula ka mogare a gao you become the temple of the holy spirit that is that is why the book of ephesians are able la gore do not grieve him because he o tswela pele o dira dibe you grieve him he become you are making him sad ka mogare a gao ka mogare a gao and then when the holy spirit ale said your whole being le yena o ba sad that is why o ka sebeli peace is because you have grieved god who lives in you and ge o dira thato wa modimo ka metla o ba le peace ye le ngore it surpasses human understanding o ntjos na selo o nokra o na le khutjo o sabereke o bola ke tlala o sna molekani gore dilo tse o filang gore wa di tlhoka mo lefaseng o sna tsona mara o nokra o na le this peace ye le ngore lo wena ka bo wena a o gone o ye understand i mean you are human The word of God says it surpasses the human understanding. Le ba bangwa ba o lebeletse. They they don't understand. They cannot understand the word This person apela ka mogare ga this situation, but he's still happy. He's still at peace. He's still joyful. Why? Modimo apela ka mogare ga o. He gives you that peace. O phela ka mogare ga o. And then the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 9 if anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him ge le gore ga ona moya o mogetwa ga wa pholoswa you are not part of the church of Christ you are not part of the church ba bantshi bana ga nore ba pholoshitswe but they are not 
That is why Polosha cha bona o di thiele cha ba tla go botsa re bona ba ke tlisitse eh bona ba rapetse ka mara wa moruti o lebella le mediro ya motho le ga dira sebe ga ana le tswalo moya o moghetwa ga o moghale because ga o gona ka mogare ya gae ga dirillo tse a a phele go ya le ka tsela modimo because ga ona nthwe ka motho xa ngore a phele ka mogo modimo anya ka nka ona o sale in that original nature was what again you cannot live so o o seng sona ga o bona eh motlhare o tswala mebutlwa tseba gore ke mushu nto uwe mushu o tswala mebutlwa ene ga o bona motlhare o tswala di feye o tseba gore ke mo feye ga o bona motlhare o tswala di apola o tseba gore ke mo apola mo mushu ka se go tswetse di apola mo feye o ka se go tswetse mebutlwa ga e gonege so motho a pollution wana le moyo mogetwa ga mogare ya gae o tlo dira thato ya modimo yes somewhere there and there because se be sakiti maga mogare ga rena you will fall but o tlo gona o bale le tswalo ka mogare ya gao wa fila gore ke senyeditse modimo wa emella wa ithinta wa tswela pele ka bophelo ke moya o mogetwa ga lore ka nnete o pholoshitse ga sna o pholosha bonna ka mogare ga o ene wa go thusha gore o tswale dikema remember the book of galatians chapter 5 the fruit of the holy spirit ge a le gona ka mogare ga o tlo tswala dikema go ka bona o sna dikema tsa moya o mogetwa go ka bona o sa phele ka mogo modima re mo phele ka ona go ka bona o sna le tswalo le ge o dirile sebe o sna e e o ithola he is not in you you are not saved o ka no ba o niela o feta ka mo krekeng o ntha di thae tlo tsona le mo faratse e hola ko e Luke chapter 18 o fasta ka mo go fasta ka ona o ya krekeng every sunday mara ge le gore o sa phela ka mo gare ga sebi o sa enjoy a sebi just know that the holy spirit is not in you and if the holy spirit is not in you you were never saved you are not saved you need to repent Jesus Christ died for those God has elected. But se ba ke modimo our job is just to preach. So ge ile gore o bona gana ro pholoshwe ga o so pholoshwe mara o sa phela jwe le ka modira dibe. You need Christ to save you. You need the Holy Spirit to save you. The Holy Spirit is the one who saves. Christ died for you on the cross. You still have a chance. Christ did not die that we may be condemned he died that we may believe in him and have eternal life this is your opportunity make that prayer to god give yourself time with god like that a uh, tax collector in the temple tell him uri mudimo na mudira dibe be merciful to me e jo boteng ba pelo ya gao ge lo re ka nnete eh o moghetwa modimo ke nako ya gao modimo tlo o thusha modimo will convict you modimo tlo dira gore o rapele this prayer like that text collector with eh, the conviction understanding your doings what they are wrong understanding that you need to repent you need the glory of god you need god to save you no one can save you except god himself motho mongolo mongwe wa tswetsweng ana le nature sebe ga ana matla o phorosa ke Jesu alete who is perfect who was born perfect who was conceived by the holy spirit ke ena fela wa ana go le matla o phorosa who died on the cross for us ke ena le tle ya na le matla o phorosa ska furwa ke batho ba re bona ke bo ke bo modimo re ke bo mang you need god to save you bana ba modimo modimo wa larata le nna ke a larata this is your time don't waste your time as god gore a kwele botlhoko modimo a le sokolle modimo a le le mo she di bitsa lena modimo a le thushe gore le gona o sokologa le dira thato ya modimo so these are the basics remember basic number 1 god chose you basic number 2 uh, it is the power of god that saves basic number 3 it is the holy spirit 
that saves. And then next week, those who are saved, those who are chosen by God, those who are saved uh, by the power of God, those who are saved by the Holy Spirit, as I have shown today, they are completely convicted. So in other words, we don't need to deceive them. They are not easily deceived. Gospel, which Paul says it is not gospel at all, or this motivational speaking, lying to them, or promise them all these things. If they accept Jesus Christ, they will receive all these things. They will not believe you because they are convicted of the truth. They only will believe what is in the Bible. Or of Vital La Cresta Boa, Modimali Chirelege, Modimo Ale Tirela Ohan, and it's an angel in the Camuca, the Mapelo Alena. May the good Lord bless you.